Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how to make this exact scene. We will be mainly focusing on making this semi-procedural and interactive material in waves, as well as lighting and getting to results such as the one in front of you. This is a beginner's video, so I will be taking this very slowly. And as always, I will link all the necessary assets into the description. And if you are a Vray user, I will also link Jonas Noel's video of the same approach but for Vray. So as you can see, I'm starting by a cube, which I will delete the lower face of, scale it up on the x, y axis as well as the z axis, extruding it once, extruding it twice again and scaling it up and getting it down, as you can see in front of you. I know this doesn't really look promising and doesn't look like an island, but trust me, we will make it work. Add a subdivision, make sure to have your name set up correctly, add a plane which will play the role of our ocean mesh. Make sure to add a camera early on to avoid adding any unnecessary details. Play around with the aspect ratio, play around with the resolution, as well as the rotation and the height. Make sure to be using cycles since the ambient occlusion node doesn't work with easy for the moment. Add a sun and a sky system and Make sure to add a lot of geometry where it's necessary. As you can see in front of you, we want to add as much geometry as we could in the places that you will be seeing, since we will really need this geometry to add our displacement. As you can see, I've made a mistake, which makes our terrain look jagged, which is why I will be showing you this quick tip. When subdividing, make sure to add smoothness in the drop down menu. You know, it does the same thing when you are adding a subdivision surface, right? Add a displacement based on a cloud picture, play around with its scale, and play around with its strength until it looks about right. As you can see, I will be adding some more subdivision, actually, and getting it downward. And let's start by adding our placeholder material, which we will be improving on in a minute. I will be linking all the necessary textures, so don't worry. You know, the material approach that I have done here, you know, as a base is really simple, you know, using the principal BSDF. As you could see, adding an albedo map, adding a roughness map, as well as adding a normal map. Make sure that your UVs are set to a realistic height, since this is very necessary for this to not break. I will be making it even smaller, right? But that will be in later on stages once I start to polish the image. As you could see, really simple approach. Add a normal map, make sure that it's set to land color for it to work correctly. And let's start by giving a placeholder material to our mesh, which has the color albedo set to zero, as well as the roughness set to zero. Duplicate our same material for the sand and let's make it look wet, which is all we'll add a hue saturation node and give it a value of 0 0.2, 0 0.4 until it looks darker. As well as playing around with the roughness by adding a color wrap in front of you. So I would just like to apologize for any you know, weird thought process from my part or any bad articulation since I have gotten a bit sick recently and I wanted to drop out this video you know, based on schedule. As you can see, we have our wet sand. Now it's time to make it appear near the sea, you know, as it would make sense. So, how will we do that? You can do it by adding a position node in the geometry node. However, I want this to be interactive, which is why I will add a AO, ambient inclusion node, which is why it's necessary to be using cycles. As you could see in front of you, I'm adding an ambient inclusion node and we will be seeing the mask that it gives us, as you would see. Make sure to set it to inside for it to work correctly. And at this point, we want to add some irregularity, which is why we will add a noise and plug it into the distance. Make sure that it has a good coordinate set up by adding no, making sure that it's set to object in the coordinates 
and play around with the scale until it looks about right. Plug it into the distance and visualize it. As you could see, we're starting to get a result. You could go ahead and play around with this using the color wrap or using math nodes, which I will be using the both of them. You know, this process is really just playing around. The more time you spend, the better it will look, all right? I just want this to be very fast, as you would see in front of you, and I think this is a really good approach instead of adding, like, actual geometry planes or doing a simulation. You know, simulations are good, adding planes is good. However, this approach is interactive. You know, if you add some rock meshes in, I mean, in the water, it will still interact with them, right? So whatever object you add, it will interact with it, and you practically don't have to do anything. So we have our setup at this time. We want to add a displacement map based on our texture that we have gotten from online. Just play around with it until it looks okay. And at this point, we want to make it less evident. Since watch will wash out the displacement and it will be slightly smoother, which is why I will do some manual painting. We could probably do that in a more undestructive way. However, I just want to keep this a bit simple. But now it's time to start working on our ocean. As always, I will add resolution where we need it and be generous, right? Geometry doesn't add as much render time as textures do. So maybe try to go a bit cheap on the textures in order to afford a bit more geometry. Add two types of displacement based on clouds. So the primary details and the secondary details and we will add the third type of details, so the finer details in the shading editor. So as you can see, visualize it, play around with it until it makes sense. We will fix the bad seams, trust me, right? So at this point, we will start by adding a good material, actually, which is why we will make a volumetric setup using the volume absorption. I like to sample a color from our sky even, and give it some slight greenish tint. Let's add the finer details by adding a noise map. Make it very subtle, right? We don't want it to be very powerful, as you would see. And I think it's time to start adding our waves, right? So before that, make sure to give it some actual thickness so it resembles more a stretched out cube for the volume absorption to work correctly. Add a different principle BSDF and give it the exact same setup that I have done here. Play around with this, right away if you're a beginner, I believe that you should follow this step by step and start to understand by playing around with the sliders and just swap textures, you know, play around with this. And we will do the same setup by adding some ambient occlusion, as always. But this time, for the texture that we'll be mixing this with, will be a wave texture. We won't do it with noise, since, you know, you do it with noise, it won't look as good. Just download one from textures.com, add it, give it some good UVs, now tile it until it makes sense, and add it into the distance. Make sure that it has no color, and add a math node or a color ramp or both which is what i'm going to be doing here in order to have a nice slider to control the amount of waves that we have here now don't be afraid to add multiple color ramps and math nodes behind and in front of our ambient occlusion you know just play around with this until it looks good make it your own try different textures try even a procedural approach as you would see in front of you, know, as you could see, we can play around with the amount of waves really easily. Give it some less alpha. You can give it some emission if you want. However, in this case, it greatly depends on the lighting, as you would see in front of you. And as always, we have a really ugly scene. 
which is what we'll be fixing in a moment simply by duplicating our actual setup for the waves and as you would see I am duplicating at this moment duplicating the actual material and the mask setup that we did with the ambient occlusion you know and since we added a lot of color ramps and a lot of map nodes it makes it very easy for us to play around with the amount of waves with the amount of foam excuse me for the the thought process as you would see plug it and you know we already have a pretty good setup as you would see in front of you make sure to set the scale of the texture until it makes sense and as you would see this is where our multiply math nodes comes in handy so now this is a really nice approach the math node is probably the most useful node that I have ever seen right. and at this point we think we can add a bit of assets to improve this so I will be fast forwarding this you know take liberation play, play around with this if you want critique and feedback or if you just want to share your amazing blender stuff join our discord or just feel free to message me somewhere right in the description as always and you know just play around with this until it looks slightly better right the more time you spend you know you can't really expect stuff to look perfect after five minutes of play around with this add a couple of assets until it looks about right and you know as i mentioned earlier the more time you spend the better it will look I know this probably isn't realistic approach however you know it just looks okay you could find a lot of free assets online such as blender kit you could add a lot of rocks and these rocks will have waves on top of them play around with the lighting again and make sure to adjust the waves material depending on the lighting as i mentioned earlier play around with the alpha and play around with the emission so hopefully you found this video useful and if you did, please feel free to subscribe, you know, drop down a like, and stay tuned for the next videos. As I mentioned, you know, a while ago, I will make sure to make slightly more advanced videos one after one. And if you have a video request, make sure to drop it down below. And with that, I think we should be all set up. So as you can see, I'm just playing around with the photographer around. Just trying to make it, this look slightly better than it kind of already is. So, until next time, take care and enjoy yourself.